Hi guys, my name is Michelle. I'm a tutor for Czech tutors and I usually tutor in English, math, and psychology. Today we're going to be talking about the psychodynamic theory. So the psychodynamic psychology ignores the trappings of science and instead focuses on trying to get inside of the head of individuals. And so we try and make sense of their relationships, of their drives and experiences, and how they see the world. The approach looks at human function as based on interactions of unconscious drives and forces between the different structures of the personality. So Freud's psychoanalysis, which is uh, the most famous introduction to psychodynamic theory, was the original, uh, was the start to this theory. But the psychodynamic approach as a whole includes all theories that were based on his ideas. And this includes uh, the famous psychologists Adler, Jung, and Erickson. The words psychodynamic and psychoanalytic are actually very frequently confused. Remember that Freud's theories were psychoanalytic, while the term psychodynamic refers to both his theories and those of his followers. Freud's psychoanalysis is both a theory and a therapy. So some uh, psychodynamic approach assumptions were, uh, or are, uh, our behaviors are powerfully in affected by our unconscious desires and motives. And these behaviors as adults come from childhood experiences. And personality is made up of three parts, the id, the ego, and the superego. So the id and the ego are part of the unconscious mind and are always in conflict with the superego, which is part of the, the conscious mind. And lastly, personality is made up of drives modified by conflicts people face at different times in their childhood. So there are a lot of criticisms to this psychodynamic theory. Uh, I'll give you a few. The greatest criticism of the psychodynamic approach is that it's very unscientific. It's almost impossible to test scientifically, and it is unscientific in its analysis of the human behavior. Another criticism is that when Freud was studying his patients, it was mainly based on uh, a lot of research into one patient versus research among different patients. And so it didn't give us enough information on the therapy. Uh, another criticism is that the psychodynamic perspective is too deterministic. It leaves very little room for the idea of personal agency or, for example, free will. Free will. Um, and lastly, the psychodynamic approach can be criticized for being sexist against women. So Freud believed that females' penis envy made them inferior to males and thought that females tended to develop uh, weaker superegos and therefore would be more prone to anxiety than males. So that's a little bit about the psychodynamic approach. I hope you learned something. Have a great day.